Hello, I'm Paul Epstein. I'm the Education Director with Designs for Lifelong Learning. We work with Montessori schools and teacher education centers all over the world. You know, everywhere we go, we hear children between the ages of two and five say the most amazing thing. They say, I can do it. Their desire to become independent is the purpose of Montessori education. During this conference, I look forward to speaking with you about what independence is and what our work as adults should be about. Our work includes understanding that children become independent when they have freedom. I will define freedom and talk about what freedom is and what freedom is not. I will also offer practical suggestions that you can use in your classroom and also at home. You know, it's amazing when children experience independence, they tell us that we have been successful. They say, I did it. I look forward to being with you in this conference. Imagine yourself as a child, a child filled with wonder, with excitement, with curiosity, and a desire to know so much. And if you were allowed to explore freely, to learn what interests you, and in a way that you can learn best. What would that be like? That, my friends, is the essence of Madeka Blajar or freedom in learning. When we allow children the freedom in learning, it will help them be motivated, inspired, and it will help them develop a love for lifelong learning. But then, how can we allow Madeka Blajar or freedom in learning in our homes, in our schools, in our classroom? Join me for a conference where you will learn from many different speakers how they have implemented Mardeka Blaja with their children and achieved success. We hope to inspire you to take massive action in implementing freedom in learning in your environments with your children. And when you do that, you will be able to help your children achieve their maximum potential. Let us together make a difference in the world of education for our children. I'll see you at the conference. Hello, my name is Poonam Bhatia and I have worn many hats in my 35 year career as a Montessorian. I am a Montessori mother, teacher, teacher trainer, administrator, school owner, consultant and author. I am pleased to join the conference and share with you my ideas on the importance of the three hour uninterrupted work cycle in providing children with freedom to learn. Maria Montessori advocated freedom as an ideal component for the young child to grow up in. And yet the idea of freedom is a very hard concept for most people to understand. Those who have attempted it without firmly grasping all of the concepts inherent within it have promoted a climate of permissiveness. It was never Montessori's intent to offer children freedom without limits or checks that would provide a balance to that freedom. The three-hour uninterrupted work cycle is critical in providing children with the equilibrium of freedom and responsibility. I look forward to seeing you at the conference. Hi, saya Damar Wijayanti. Saya adalah seorang Montessori diploma sekaligus certified positive discipline parents educator. Saya sangat senang untuk berbagi dengan Anda tentang bagaimana Montessori memfasilitasi perkembangan kedisiplinan pada diri anak-anak. Saya akan menceritakan hubungan antara kebebasan memilih yang disediakan Montessori di lingkungan tumbuh kembang anak dengan perkembangan kehendak serta kepatuhannya. Saya sudah sangat tidak sabar untuk bercerita kepada Anda. Sampai jumpa di konferensi nanti. Hai, saya Wahyuni Kristiani Martono, biasa dipanggil Yuni atau Mam Duoke. Sehari-hari saya working mom, saya bekerja sebagai dosen, berprofesi sebagai psikolog, pendidikan dan perkembangan anak, juga psikolog sekolah. Selain itu, saya juga salah satu co-founder sekolah alternatif di Palangkaraya. Saya senang berorganisasi dan aktif dalam penelitian dan pengabdian kepada masyarakat. Saya sangat semangat dan senang sekali akan berpartisipasi dalam konferensi Montessori Virtual 2021. Di konferensi nanti, saya akan membawakan tema mengenai pentingnya merdeka belajar dalam perkembangan potensi anak sejak dini. Sampai jumpa di konferensi nanti. Bye-bye. Halo semuanya, saya dengan Miss Sarah. Saya adalah trainer dengan pengantar bahasa Indonesia 
dari Sunshine Teachers Training. Saya mengenal metode Montessori sejak berkecimpung dalam pendidikan anak usia dini. Dan saya juga menerapkan metode ini bersama kedua anak balita saya di rumah. Sebagai seorang muslim, saya juga menerapkan nilai-nilai islami di dalamnya. Dan dalam konferensi nanti, saya akan membawakan topik bagaimana mengaplikasikan metode Montessori dengan nilai-nilai islami. Sampai bertemu di konferensi. Saya Suraya, saya praktisi psikologi pendidikan sekaligus founder dari Alfalah Islamic Kindergarten. Saat ini saya menjabat sebagai school principal di TK Alfalah Saninage, Sumatera Selatan. Dalam keseharian saya tidak hanya menghandle sekolah saja, tapi saya juga berprofesi sebagai tenaga dosen di salah satu universitas negeri di Palembang, Sumatera Selatan. Saya juga aktif menjadi penulis, konten kreator, dan juga pembicara mengenai psikologi dan pendidikan. Saya sangat senang sekali karena terpilih menjadi salah satu narasumber di konferensi Montessori Virtual 2021. Pada kesempatan kali ini, saya akan berbagi mengenai bagaimana konsep mereka belajar bagi psikologi siswanya. Tentunya pembahasan ini sangat menarik, maka teman-teman jangan sampai lupa untuk hadir dalam konferensi Montessori Virtual 2021. Hi there, my name is Letty Rising and I am excited to be presenting along with a dear friend and colleague, Jana Morgan Herman, on the topic of the art of storytelling in the Montessori classroom. Jana will be telling the perspective of telling stories for children in the first plane of development, particularly ages three to six. And I will be talking about telling stories for the six to 12 year old. And you will learn a lot about ways in which you can tell stories that can help children learn more and become more engaged and excited about learning and develop a spark and a passion and an interest for the world around them. So we look forward to seeing you at the conference. Halo, nama saya Upi Anggrahedi. Saya adalah ibu beranak empat dengan pekerjaan sampingan sebagai dokter spesialis kebidanan dan kandungan. Di tengah kesibukan itu, saya berkenalan dengan Montessori dan langsung jatuh cinta seketika. Karena konsep Montessori yang menarik dan juga dampaknya yang luar biasa terhadap saya dan anak-anak. Saya sangat senang sekali mendapat kesempatan untuk berbagi topik mengenai bagaimana mencerdaskan anak sejak dalam kandungan. Karena disinilah konsep Montessori bisa bersinggungan atau berkaitan dengan sisi keilmuan saya sebagai dokter kebidanan. Saya akan membahas salah satu konsep Montessori yang terkenal yaitu mengenai dua tahap perkembangan manusia, physical embryo dan spiritual embryo dari sisi medis. Lalu bagaimana hubungannya dengan kemerdekaan belajar? Nanti kita akan bahas bersama. Mari berbagi dan sampai jumpa di konferensi. Hai, saya Ayu Lupika. Sehari-hari saya bekerja sebagai special needs contributor bidang kurikulum dan pengembangan program di Yayasan Hisu. Yayasan Hisu merupakan lembaga kesejahteraan sosial yang merawat, melatih, dan mendidik anak-anak berkebutuhan khusus agar menjadi mandiri. Saya sangat senang karena saya dapat berbagi dengan Anda tentang bagaimana cara kami memodifikasi lingkungan sehingga hal tersebut memudahkan tenaga pengajar maupun anak-anak berkebutuhan khusus dalam bekerja sama. Beberapa hal yang akan saya sharingkan dalam kesempatan kali ini adalah tentang pengalaman saya bekerja bersama anak-anak berkebutuhan khusus. Kemudian tahapan apa saja yang diperlukan untuk memulai bekerja sama dengan anak berkebutuhan khusus, terutama modifikasi lingkungan. Kemudian, uh, saya juga akan sharing tentang prinsip-prinsip Montessori apa saja yang diaplikasikan dalam bekerja bersama anak-anak berkebutuhan khusus. Sampai jumpa di konferensi nanti ya! Hi everyone, my name is Astrid Levi. I'm a principal at Playhouse Academy Indonesia. But during the night, I'm a doctoral student at the Liberty University USA doing my doctorate degree in educational leadership. I have a master's degree in early childhood and have been in the sector for close to 20 years. I am married and blessed with two teenage boys and one toddler princess. I'm excited to present to you the most exciting topic of the century, that is technology in education. 
With the advancement in technology, are we going to shun it or take up the challenge? According to numerous research, educators play a vital role in technology integration in schools. Our beliefs and actions will either make it or break it. So, in the upcoming session, I'm going to bring you to the world of educational technology and how we can embrace it and use it to benefit our teaching and learning in the classrooms, while at the same time, keeping tap on the danger side. See you at the conference. Hi, I'm Pilar Buley from MainlyMontessori.com. I'm an AMI-trained primary and elementary guide, and I'm also a homeschooling mom. I work with homeschooling parents all around the world, helping them to bring Montessori into their homes in a way that is easy to do, it's approachable and fun. And in this conference, I'm going to be chatting with you about the characteristics of the second plane of development. Now, the reason I'm so passionate about this topic is because when you're able to understand your child's stage of development, then you are in a much better position to help them and support their growth. I look forward to chatting with you in this conference. Take Hello, care. I'm Siska, trainer Sunshine Teachers Training untuk program Diploma Montessori Online dalam bahasa Indonesia. Saya adalah ibu dari dua orang anak laki-laki. Saya berkenalan dengan Montessori sekitar 14 tahun yang lalu saat anak pertama saya masuk ke TK Montessori di Jakarta. Yang membuat saya jatuh cinta pada Montessori adalah karena anak dihargai sebagai individu yang unik dan guru perannya lebih sebagai fasilitator untuk dapat mengembangkan potensi maksimal anak. Di dalam konferensi online kali ini, saya ingin berbagi tentang salah satu kutipan kata-kata terkenal Bapak Ki Hajar Dewantoro, yaitu Ingarso Suntulodo, Imadio Mangunkarso, Tuturi Handayani. Saya ingin membagikan bagaimana kita sebagai guru maupun sebagai orang tua dapat menjiwai kata-kata Bapak Ki Hajar Dewantoro ini dalam mendampingi anak-anak kita tercinta di dalam kemerdekaan belajar mereka. Sampai jumpa di konferensi. Hi everyone, I'm Jenny Amar and I'm the master trainer at Sunshine Teachers Training. I'm going to be meeting you at the virtual conference and I'm going to be talking to you about freedom of language in the Montessori classroom. Language and the way it's enhanced in a Montessori classroom has always interested me and it's a real passion of mine. I'm going to show you how we encourage language all throughout the Montessori classroom and curriculum and I'm also going to teach you some easy games that you can play at home in the classroom or even over Zoom to help your child build a multitude of language skills. So I hope to see you there. Looking forward to seeing you at the conference. Hello everyone, this is Lila Farley. I am a certified teacher and also a homeschooling parent of three children. I would like to share with you the challenges of homeschooling your own children, but also on how to build a good relationship that will help the children to follow their interests and also take ownership of their learning. I hope to see you at the conference. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Aarti Nandakumar and I'm a trained Montessori directress for the ages of 0 to 3 as well as 3 to 6 year olds. Um, I've had almost a decade of experience working in Montessori, most of which I've had the privilege of working in Indonesia and it's a pleasure for me to be a part of this conference. Um, during my talk, uh, which is inspired by the Montessori triad of the adult, the child and the environment, what I would like to share with you all uh, is three simple ways we can all be more gentle and compassionate with ourselves as we fulfill various roles of parent and educator or caregiver working with young children. And uh, we are constantly living in a world of information uh, which tells us that we are not doing enough. So how can we take a step back, take a moment to reflect and then present ourselves the child as well as the environment in a way that we can enable freedom in learning. So I hope to see you all there. Kenalkan, nama saya Rai Chandra Mitri yang biasa dipanggil Rai. Sehari-hari saya menjadi seorang ibu rumah tangga untuk dua orang anak saya. Selain itu, saya menjadi seorang praktisi serta pendidik 
dalam pendidikan anak usia ini. Saat ini saya sangat bersenang sekali untuk berbagi kepada para ayah bunda semua di Konferensi Montessori Virtual Merdeka Belajar Freedom in Learning bersama Sunshine Teachers Training. Saya akan berbagi tentang satu hal, yaitu bagaimana dan strategi menyiapkan rumah ramah anak berdasarkan filosofi Montessori. So, tunggu saya dan sampai jumpa di konferensi nanti. Bye bye. Hi everyone, my name is Sapna and I'm a Montessori mom to two little boys. I look forward to sharing with you on how I raised my boys the Montessori way, and my hope is to leave you with simple tips and tricks to being a Montessori parent. See you at the conference.